Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel, it's Alex, and with Black Bolt confirmed to be getting a tier 4 and a brand new Halloween uniform, I wanted to check him out pre-update to get a blip, a reading, a pulse on what he can do before he gets his big jump so that then we can just slap on the new uniform and compare them side by side. Thankfully, I still have a pretty intact build from two years ago, when, it's actually been more than two years when he got his tier three and this Marvel's X uniform. So we've got mostly five star Uru, nothing too fancy here, but that is okay. Then we have the stage 12 Power of Angry Hulk that I had bumped up from like a stage nine. No artifact, it'll be very interesting to see what he gets. And then a CTP of Rage. I do remember when Black Bolt came out, I was in the controversial bin of players because I did not like his play style, uh, especially without a CTP of Rage. I was one of those uh, players who, you know, just didn't think he was good enough and consistent enough to use a proc uh, CTP with, like a Mighty Destruction or a CTP of Energy or something like that. But yeah, his man, his uniform effect is horrible. Damage, 15% damage reduction. This was basically, like, okay, let's be honest. This was basically his big glow up because beyond, before this, his base look was terrible, this was terrible, and even this one wasn't very good. So this was really the first time he was good, but maybe like venom and like some other characters that got reworked at the end of 2020 black bolt just felt incomplete and he d definitely did not age well like within six months he was out of the meta he never even really was at the top of the meta when he came out certainly eclipsed immediately by Gr by ghost rider like ghost rider just came in and made black bolt look a fool as a universal and of course black bolt tier 3 came out after silver surfer and odin tier 3 which basically sandwiched him between the be the best and most expensive and then the most cost friendly uh, tier threes that we had at the time. So yeah, we're going to throw him back into some OG content and see how he does. He can actually do, is he actually available for stage 75? He's not an alien. No, he's an inhuman. Yeah, we're, we're not going to go that high, of course, but we're going to see how, wow, imagine at, imagine at level 80. If he can do 69. So I think one of the big problems for Black Bolt, at least when he originally came out and he had to go up against Null, who had, you know, just been the first World Boss Legend, is that he doesn't have much ignore dodge. So we can't really... Bro, I got guard broken. Okay. We can't really remedy that uh, because we can only give him two strikers here on this stage. So stage uh, four, 24 may be a bit of a stretch for him, but I have 25% pierce now and he still has a CTP of Rage. So let's go ahead and see. Thankfully, he has a heal. So at least we get that going. But And he does do the fifth skill on the team up, which is nice. Yeah, he only gets he only pops 45% on the tier 3. So we're really relying on the tier 3 to do the vast majority of the damage for him. I don't even think he has guaranteed crit rate. He really, like, he was really missing so many, um, so many buffs. And, oh, you know what I remember as well at the time? It doesn't matter as much anymore. But for those of you who still play World Boss Ultimate, I remember that uh, Black Bolt's all defense down on his fourth skill is actually uh, less than on his tier three. But it applies right at the beginning. And so if you were playing him, you could easily accidentally apply the wrong amount of all defense down and then uh have to deal with the, the the consequences of that so that was another reason why he was difficult to play yeah it's it's not looking good for him here he can tank he does have colossus giving him bro he just got knocked out of his tier three okay yeah this is a this is a this is disgusting he's trash Okay, we're going to have to go to a lower stage, ladies and gentlemen. All right, here we go on stage 19 of Mephisto. The benefit of this stage, as well as going down five stages from Null, is that we no longer need to rely on the, um, you know, the ignore dodge. And we um, can use Taskmaster support. So he should be a little bit better here, but I'm... I don't know. I, I, I don't know what to expect. I, I want to say he'll be better, but I don't know what to expect. Another thing that I now am remembering... Okay, he's taking so much damage. Yeah, that 15% damage reduction on his uniform is hilarious. Hilariously useless. Another thing I'm remembering is that um, he just has a really bad tier 3. Like, I was I was upset. Versus Null, I'm glad I cut the video there. Because I was upset that his tier 3 got interrupted. But I, I feel like his tier 3 is, was just really bad. So I'm hoping that they rework his tier 3 as well. Because I feel like it's just really bad. 
It's very low damage. It's a super long animation. Um, and he al it also leaves him vulnerable. I think I remember him dying against Null in the tier 3 skill. Like mid tier 3 skill. Which is hilarious. Like it's, it's, it's not hilarious. It's embarrassing. For the king of the Inhumans, right? A dude who can go toe to toe with Thanos until he gets beaten up. He does have debuff removal on his kit, which is nice. He has a passive that removes debuffs. That's very 2020, guys. <laughs> okay. Uh, but no, seriously, like, the Inhumans have been one of the sh most shafted groups in all of MFF. And that's including mutants uh, and including, more recently, speed types and combat types. So... Yeah, the, the, like, by and large, I would say the Inhumans are probably the most shafted of all of the races, period. But uh, we're not trying to start an MFF race war, so we'll just, we'll just make do. The other thing I want to see is, oh, yeah, I have to test him on that stage. Oh, you guys know what I'm talking about. The only thing that anyone cares about when you talk about Inhumans in MFF, that one dispatch stage. I was supposed to test Miss Marvel when she came out, but um, there was so much controversy around her not being human or being human or whatever, and um, so yeah. And then she got changed to human, right? So you wouldn't even be able to like you could tier three her, sure, but you can't use her on that on that stage. So you either tier three her and use the old uniform, or you just wait. And so here we are waiting, and that's why I didn't test Kamala back then. Also, I may have forgotten. Okay, I don't need... Okay, don't die. Okay, I'm just gonna switch there. He was gonna die, bro. So he can probably do stage 19 of Mephisto? Wow! That's not impressive, by the way. This is not impressive. Uh, we're, we were testing Scream and Toxin, right? And Agent Venom as new uniforms in 2022 uh, on stage 29. And that's on stage 29 with, with the... Um, the type disadvantage. I want to make that very clear. They actually have a lot of work to do. His So his passives suck. Black Bolt's passives suck. His uniform effect sucks. His tier 3 sucks. All of that needs to get fixed. By default. Basically, right now, the only thing that I would keep for uh, Black Bolt is the audio of him screaming. Because it sounds cool. And I would keep... I don't even know, dude. I think that's all I would keep. Honestly, everything else needs to go. Oh, his leadership. Yes. His 65% leadership. That's pretty big. And it's also big considering that he's going to be getting tier 4, right? Because we don't have very many tier 4s. Um, having a tier 4 with a self-buffing lead like uh, Blue Dragon. Very clutch. This performance, however, not so clutch. So he gets it done in a very pedestrian four minutes and 50 seconds or sorry three <laughs> he's so bad he's crippling my child childlike math skills three minutes and 50 seconds about four minutes okay about four minutes that is horrendous so for those of you wondering the dispatch stage in question is 10 3 until now it is still the only dispatch stage i have not completed look at that little dot there it's haunting me. And here's the thing, guys. Dispatch didn't even release with all 12 sectors. Dispatch released with 10 sectors. And then at the end of last year, they added 11 and 12 when they introduced artifacts. And they introduced Celestial Essence. And since then, I've blitzed through those 30 different missions. But still, this Inhumans missions haunts me. Clear with three Inhumans. And they haven't reworked any of the Inhumans besides Miss Marvel. And they made her not inhuman anymore. So you have to equip her old uniform or you have to bring someone else. But all of the other inhumans are just straight up way worse than Miss Marvel. So this is the best team. They all have CTPs of rage. This is a triple rage setup with 25% pierce. So what I want to see first is can we just do it on auto? I'm scared. I'm pretty sure I know the answer and I'm pretty sure the answer is no. Um, and I'm pretty sure at the, at the moment, right, before his uniform, I think I would need to either play manually and get very lucky, or I would have to give him, like, a brilliant CTP of energy, which is a hilariously high investment for such a low 
return on your investment. However, that's where the new uniform comes in. If the new uniform is going to do anything for Black Bolt, it is going to allow him to do the stage. But better than that is the fact that he's getting tier 4. Because what that means is you'll be able to take your Black Bolt as a striker or as a teammate, beat stage 1 of Null or stage 2 of Mephisto or whatever you want, and unlock his second potential. If you have him tier 3, of course. Of course. Obviously, this is predicated on you already having Black Bolt tier 3, all the people that chose Black Bolt from their Tier 3 selector are praising the sun right now. Um, and what you'll be able to do is potentially, potentially, you'll be able to use this uniform. This oh, There's no way they're doing this, by the way. Use this old uniform, uh, but have Black Bolt at level 72 or 74 or maybe 80 and clear this stage, right? With potentially less of an investment, right? Less pierce than I have not three CTPs of Rages, etc. We'll have to see, like, we'll have to see how strong he gets. You may need the uniform, who knows? But uh, it is definitely, it's looking like this this challenge is finally coming to a close. We thought this challenge was going to be completable with Miss Marvel's new uniform in Tier 3. Oh, we thought so. <laughs> but the devs had other plans for us, changing her from Inhuman to Human. They dropped the in uh, from her, her species. So uh, because of that, we're, we're putting it all on the king's shoulders, right? Heavy is the head that wears the crown. Heavy is my ass because we're getting dragged here. And we're not even on the boss fight yet. And we're, there's a minute to go. Do you see, the, you see the, 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 the gray dodge text? That hurts my soul. That means that they're, like, they're just bricking. This is Ben Simmons in the clutch for three. This is, this is Russell Westbrook and Patrick Beverly just lighting up the backboard with their shot selection. Holy cow. So yeah, level 72 plus should fix this dodging issue for Black Bolt. Like I mentioned against Null, because he doesn't have Ignore Dodge, he seems a lot worse. Th that, that level 60, 72 to, to 80 bump should also make him a lot better against Null. Again, not necessarily going to make him really good. Who knows? It might make him for PvP and troll all of us, but uh, we have to wait and see, right? But hopefully, at least, like, at the very least. The, bro, they're 15 seconds? Are you kidding me? Bro, 25% pierce, over 120% energy attack on my cards. Three CTPs of rage, and you guys get to the boss fight and the time's up. This is li this content is literally harder than like stage 30 or 40 of World Boss Legend. <laughs> like I don't understand, dude. How is this content still so hard? Like the Inhumans suck s like so colossally. I don't even have the words for the glacial disappointment that these three have presented on. Like I I, I feel like pouring bleach all over this recording because of how gross it was. So yeah, uh, this is your biannual reminder to not invest in the Inhumans unless they are human. Eh? And uh, let's wait and see what Black Bull gets. He needs a lot. He, they they, they got to throw the kitchen sink at him. His tier 3 sucks, like I said. His passive sucks. He just gets chain damage and, and skill damage, bonus damage. No, no guaranteed crit, no guaranteed dodge, no crit damage, nothing. Uh, and then here he gets the debuff. This is not bad, but even the cooldown is is like, look at this. You're going to get a date faster than he's going to come off that cooldown. And look at you. You haven't showered in days. So yeah. Hit me up in the comments down below. Let me know what you think. We should also keep track of his effects. Right? So right now, he doesn't have any interesting effects, except he has shock on his third skill. And he has silence and paralysis. They could make him a sleeper for either ABX or ABL or both. If they give him snare, if they give him fracture, if they give him, if they uh, keep his shock on. So we'll have to wait and see. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. As always, smash the like button, support the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.